Hello magical butterflies. This is Extina from Butterfly Intuition Divine Guidance. I hope you are having a magical day, night, or afternoon. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you are subscribed. Please make sure to hit the bell notification so you can be notified when I post a new video. If you are interested in booking a guidance reading or a guidance session with me, they can be booked in my Etsy shop. The link to my Etsy shop along with my list of services are listed below. If you are interested in purchasing one of the decks I created or the Twin Flame Music deck I co-created with my soul sister, if you are in the United States, they can be purchased in my Etsy shop. If you are international, there is a special ordering link for you below. The links on how to connect with me outside of YouTube are listed below for my Instagram, Facebook, Patreon, Butterfly Community, and my blog website. If you like my channel and would like to support my channel and my work, my Butterfly Gratitude donation links are listed below for an energy exchange. This reading is going to be a love reading for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus on what is coming in love during July through September of 2021. My readings are intended to be timeless, so they can apply at any given time or space whenever you are guided to my channel and are watching this. This is general, so this can apply to all types of love connections. Please make sure to use your discernment when watching this video. Please only take the message or messages that speak directly to your soul and what doesn't speak directly to your soul, release it and let it fly. The decks I'm going to be using in this reading are the Arrows of Love Oracle by Mystic Moon, the Lover's Oracle, the Divine Feminine Tarot, the Crow Tarot, Crystal Angels Oracle, and the True Love Reading Cards. The theme in love for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, is... Love and Lace, Innocence. And for some reason, the song Leather and Lace by Stevie Nicks and Don Henley is coming through. So I will link that song below as that song has a special message for someone watching this video. What I'm getting is that things may have been fragile or maybe somebody was very careless and they didn't treat you like you were a very beautiful, fragile piece. And they broke your heart is what I'm getting. And I feel now your person now sees the error of their ways and they want to come in to bring you this innocence of an apology. This innocence of a second chance. This innocence of making things right. And maybe they blamed you for something, but they now see that you didn't do anything wrong. What I'm really picking up on is that they were told you did something when you didn't and they didn't believe you and now they are seeing the truth because the truth has been revealed to them regarding what someone had told them about you. So let's get into the overall energy of your connection. So this is going to be the overall energy of the connection this is just what you and your person are putting out into the universe when it comes to love. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So what I feel is your person may have been very material world oriented, focusing on the material things, focusing on money. And what I'm getting now is that they're seeing that there's more to life than that. Because with life is a series of constantly shifting cycles, when we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress, go with the flow, you will be surprised where it leads. So a cycle is shifting, which is causing an energy of you and your person. So maybe in the past, your person resisted this connection, you may have resisted it if drama had happened, third party drama is what I'm getting. But now, you both are just going with the flow, and you both are going to be surprised where it leads, because balance is coming to this connection. 
Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges because with finding balance brings a new beginning. So this connection is going through a new beginning because that's what the two of you want. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Because you both have learned that acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point in trying to change that which is beyond our control. So maybe in the past, attachments to outcomes, expectations, timelines, trying to force something before it was ready, that was let go and that's how this balance was restored. And your person is coming through with a message that tells you to look deep within your heart and you will feel my love for my love for you is as deep as the ocean. So you could be connecting with a person who is a water sign or you're a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. But this could just represent the feelings, the emotions coming through. So let's get into your person's current headspace and current heart space when it comes to you and your connection. Just see where they're at energetically, what they're thinking, and what they're feeling. So their headspace is the Five of Wands and the Seven of Cups, Water and Fire. What I'm getting is that they're very passionate about you and they're very passionate about this connection. They want to come in with an offer and they're thinking about how they can do it because you are their wish fulfillment. In your person's heart space, they're in the Two of Swords wanting to correct the stalemate, indecision, really just not being able to come forward. They're taking the blindfold off because they want to bring balance to this connection. They want to bring peace because your person has had this breakthrough in awareness and they now see that you are the sun to their moon and the moon to their stars. I'm really just being shown um, Khal Drago from Game of Thrones when he's talking about Khaleesi is moon of my life, that is what's coming through. It's kind of like you tame the beast in a way because if you've watched Game of Thrones, he was not very nice to her in the beginning, but she showed him to open his heart. And that's what you did because your person is now the king of cups and the king of wands. So see fire and water, following passion, listening to the heart, and wanting to bring balance into this connection and closing a cycle. So I'm drawn to the bird on this card. That just shows me that some type of movement forward and a possible message is on the horizon. So let's get into what's releasing or what needs to be released in this connection that is going to help this connection move forward in the future. We have the Ten of Wands. Heavy burdens are being released. And what's being released, it's what's keeping this masculine energy, your person, from being able to send you some type of communication. The Two of Pentacles shows me whatever has kept stalemate in a decision is also being removed. And it's being replaced with King of Swords coming into balance, air energy, helping your person find the strength to send this message. This separation that the two of you are in has really helped both of you gain a new perspective. And with the four of wands, you both now are manifesting this coming together. So anything that was blocking your person from coming in, you both needed to go on a solo journey to help bring peace and tranquility into the connection so a love offer can come in. So I'm drawn to the sun on here. So the sun is going to shine in this connection and the end of a tough cycle is approaching. So let's get in, in, into what is shifting or what needs to shift in this connection to help things move forward and to align with what is meant to be. So what is shifting? 
we have Let Yourself Sparkle and Shine. So Opal, which is the birthstone for Libra, you are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world. So what's shifting is you both are not going to hide behind masks, hide behind not showing people who you are. I feel one or both of you may be switching careers and going in a different direction. I feel this past year has been life changing for both of you. And it's affecting the love life with the rose quartz. I feel you both worked on the self-love journey and new or removed rom romantic love is here for you. So a coming together is on the horizon as things shift. And the spiritual or religious community. So just join with like-minded people for friendship and increase spiritual growth. So I feel you both are being guided to call in your spirit, your soul tribe and your spirit team to help you align to your purpose. So when it comes to this connection, in order for things to shift, stay strong in your faith. A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive mindset. So it's all in your perception. It's all in your thoughts. And with smoky quartz, that is going to help you clear negativity. You will release negativity from within or around you. And it's going to bring increased support your focus is positive and willingness to receive has opened the doorway to an abundance of help and opportunities. So things are going to shift and doors of opportunity are going to open and you're going to have answered prayers. Just trust that all your great work has opened the door for the divine solutions and support. Because when you shift your focus from the problem and you shift it to the solution, that is when you see things shift. And that is when you see problems resolve itself and that's when you see things get easier. So I'm going to close out your reading with possible future energy on what the future holds or what the future may hold for you and your person and your love connection. Now this is possible future energy. It is not set in stone. It is what can happen, what may happen if you and your person do your work, follow your guidance and make the free will decision to come together. In the future, we have the gardener. So the seeds that have been planted are going to start to sprout. That is confirmed by manifestation. You both are aligned to your life purpose. So that is going to bring a balance into this connection. You could be seeing feathers. Feathers are a sign to tell you that you are on your path. So your person is going to come in to romance, to romance you, very chivalrous, bringing flowers, writing you cute, cute love notes or texts, holding the door open for you, holding your hand because your person has matured. Your person is now the divine masculine. Your person has found self-respect within themselves and you have done that as well. And this is going to bring a deep intimate connection because they are going to be ready to come together with you. And the bathtub on that card just shows me that your person is ready to get very deep and open, honest with you. And that is going to help the two of you create a life together of abundance and inner peace because you two know now that you both are enough apart and together and that is going to bring in compatibility into the future and a divine love connection that is meant to come back together. So I do hope this reading has brought you clarity and guidance on what is coming in love for Gemini sun moon rising and venus if this resonated give this video a like drop a comment below please make sure to share this video with anyone who you think would like to hear the messages in this reading thank you all so much for all your likes your shares and your subscribes hit the bell notification so you can be notified when i post a new video if this reading didn't resonate with you no worries hopefully i will tap into your energy on my next reading but if you feel guided to, you can always book a guidance reading or a session with me. I would be happy to look into your love connection or your situation. Love and light.